To the world, Professor Dr. Atta Urrahman is a great scientist. To his fellow countrymen, he is a leader with a great vision and a great sense of patriotism. To his students, he is an inspiring teacher. To his family, he is a filial son, a loving husband, a responsible father, and a very dear grandfather. Professor Atau Rahman comes from an illustrious Muslim family, learned and well respected. He is an only child of Mr. Jamil Ur Rahman and Madam Amtol Subhan Begum. He was born on a Thursday, the morning of September 22nd, 1942, in Delhi, India. On the 5th of September 1947, his family migrated to Pakistan, a 21 day old nation, following her separation from India. The family settled in Okara, a small village in Punjab. When Atau Rahman was 10, the family moved again, and this time setting up home in Karachi, where the young Atta was enrolled in the prestigious Karachi Grammar School. He did very well in school. In both the O levels and A levels, Atau Rahman attained top position in the whole of Pakistan. He is a very strong person with reference to uh, ideas. He, his brain is, uh, uh, is very enriching, his very fertile brain because the ideas comes like electric current, you know. He would tell you lots of things, he, he would have lots of ideas and each one of these ideas would make uh, lots of sense. Following his excellent academic performance, several options were made available to Atau Rahman, but he chose to study chemistry at the University of Karachi. Atau Rahman graduated from the University of Karachi with first division and first position in Master of Science in Organic Chemistry. He was very hard-working student. He was very witty. He was very brilliant, sort of. In, I remember in the first year of Masters, he came second in the chemistry department. Normally students would have been happier that he is second, but he was not. He said, no, this second position is not my job. I want to have the first position. Atau Rahman's father had wanted his son to join the cotton ginning industry, but the young Atta's passion was in academia. His goal was to make it good in a world-renowned university. Atau Rahman's journey in search of scholastic attainments started with a position as a lecturer at his alma mater, the University of Karachi, in 1964. He's brilliant. He's genius. He is a scientist par excellence. He is an educationist par excellence. And he is a visionary person par excellence. There is no doubt about that. So he has many qualities which has been blessed to him by God. But besides that, he is very, very hardworking, very, very dedicated and very, very sincere to the cause for which he is working. So these two things to go together to make Professor Atta what he is today. Yeah, he is a very, very nice friend. Very, very nice friend. You know, when he wants to talk to students, and especially those students who are outgoing or who passed out, he always says, Tum, Tum, Tum. He don't say up. He says, Tum. That means he is very close to us. So this is his friendship. A year later, he accepted a Commonwealth scholarship to attend the prestigious King's College at the University of Cambridge. After three years in 1968, Atau Rahman received his PhD in Organic Chemistry with his thesis entitled Synthetic Studies in the Indole Alkaloids Field. If one person changed my life in 40 years, my husband's life, our whole family is Professor Atau Rahman and I don't think I'm unique. He touched and changed many lives because we each think that he is our professor, but he is everyone's professor. In 1969, Dr. Atau Rahman was elected as Fellow of King's College, Cambridge. For a man passionate about seeking answers to human predicaments through research and scholarship, such recognition was a godsend. His fellowship had allowed him to undertake numerous independent research initiatives which generated great interest and outstanding outcomes. Realizing his country's need of his service, 
Professor Atau Rahman decided to return to Pakistan in 1972 and started lecturing at the University of Karachi's Postgraduate Institute of Chemistry, which was later renamed the Hussein Ibrahim Jamal OHEJ Research Institute of Chemistry. This institute was founded by Salim Uzama Siddiqui. He was the founder. But the equipment which we have now is due to him, due to Atau Rahman, because his, his efforts uh, and uh, the NMR instruments which we acquired uh, from various grants from the, um, uh, foreign countries, foreign aids. And then uh, this institute has now 12 NMR instruments. Uh, and this is all due to Atau Rahman. So he is very good in uh, getting uh, for aid to buy equipments and to run this institute. With such great vision, in-depth knowledge and extensive networking, he managed to transform the institute into a top-class facility that attracted scientists and researchers from all over the world. To him, knowledge is God-given and thus it is to be shared for the benefit of mankind. Such is his conviction on humanity that Professor Atau Rahman has taken in students of various nationalities to be under his tutelage and guidance. To date, over 70 PhD students have earned their scrolls under his able supervision. Uh, today we have several universities in the top 300, top 400, top 500. For instance, uh, the uh, National University of Science and Technology in Islamabad is ranked at uh, 273. Uh, the University of Engineering and Technology is ranked at 281 in the world. These are international rankings. Uh, Karachi University in Natural Sciences is ranked at 223 in the world. So there was a major change in the science and technology scenario and in higher education scenario. Up to this date, Professor Atau Rahman has produced 844 publications in leading international journals covering diverse aspects in the field of organic chemistry. His repository of scholastic achievements includes 663 research publications, 18 patents, 103 books and 59 book chapters undertaken by major publishers from the US and Europe. Let me show you a few comments uh, from the Nobel laureates and the uh, very eminent scientists working in the field uh, in, in natural product chemistry, medicinal chemistry, drug discovery, who say what they say is about Professor Rahman. You know, I have a few comments here, uh, like Maurice Shamma, Gilbert Strock, Heinz Floss, Koji Nakashi, Nakanishi, Herbert Brown. So these are the top Nobel laureates uh, who, you know, Nobel laureates themselves speaks what they did in, in their life. But if they this is uh, about Professor Rahman, they speak very high about him. So uh, these comments which you can see here, these are very appreciating comments about his work which he did in the last 30 years. His great potentials led to the Pakistani government's offer of the Federal Minister of Science and Technology portfolio, the post he held from 2000 to 2002. His great interest to enhance higher education for his countrymen fitted in like a glove when he was appointed Federal Minister of Education and Chairman of the Higher Education Commission from 2002 to 2008. Nobody can compete him in decision making. No. Uh, the power of decision making is... Uh, I couldn't see any other man whose decision power is as strong as Professor Atau Rahman. Professor Atau Rahman is married to Mrs. Nargis Rahman and they are blessed with four sons and ten grandchildren. Actually, I'm proud of him. He is a very good husband. He is very caring, and he is a good father also. He has been playing with the children when he was, they were young. All the time in the evening, they also play together, and then he helped them in their studies and so many things. Professor Atau Rahman's talents, expertise, and contributions are recognized worldwide. He was elected Fellow of the Royal Society in July 2006, thus making himself one of only four scientists from the Muslim world to have ever won the honour of being in the league of esteemed and highly regarded voices in the realm of science. Sometimes we used to get very angry because he emphasised so much on the impact factor, impact factor. So we had to work very, very hard to come up 
to that standard and alhamdulillah this has actually revolutionized the entire country and our institute not only our institute let me add here our institute received two prizes by islamic development bank in 2007 Atau Rahman was elected Honorary Life Fellow of King's College, Cambridge, United Kingdom. In October 2009, he was conferred the Third World Academy of Sciences Prize or TWAS Prize for institution building in Durban, South Africa. Earlier this year, Professor Atau Rahman became the recipient of the Engro Excellence Award in Science and Technology 2011, which won him a prize money of 5 million rupees. All proceeds from the award were channeled to deserving students in the form of scholarships and he himself allocated an equal amount of funding from his own private sources, rupee for rupee. He's just uh, really a sweet person and uh, he's not like always serious. So uh, for me, he calls me major. So because I, whenever I saw him, I salute him like this. And if he is watching me right now, so I would say like your major is saluting you. <laughs> so he's really sweet, and he uh, sometimes uh, when we have uh, uh, some informal uh, lunches or uh, dinner, so he he makes jokes. So. Actually, for us, uh, believe me, Professor Atal Rahman, in all aspects, like as a leader, as a scientist, is like a superman. And it's a real superman. I mean that if you just look his uh, lifestyle and the way he's spending uh, the time in the creativity, it's really uh, is a good example need to follow. Professor Atau Rahman currently holds important posts in several established organizations, including the president of the Network of Academies of Science of Islamic Countries, NASIC, and vice president, Central and South Asia, Third World Academy of Sciences, TWAS Council. In January this year, he was re-elected as president of the Pakistan Academy of Sciences. Professor Atau Rahman is also the present coordinator general of Comstec, an OIC ministerial committee comprising ministers of science and technology from all 57 member countries. the good quality which I observe that he just do the things at that time just quick if you ask like uh, I have this problem he just calls some person to solve this problem immediate action you know if he gets email if you write email to him he read email he just immediately answer he don't leave things on panic I wish that uh, people like Professor Dr. Tauraman Saab I think there are more people in Pakistan because he is the hope for the uh, young generation of Pakistan. He he done a lot of great work for this country, for this nation, for this institution. And uh, I pray for God that uh, he wish him best of luck for his future plans, especially for the development of uh, this uh, country. And I wish uh, he will have a long, healthy life. For his outstanding achievements and immense contributions to mankind, Professor Atal Rahman has been accorded honorary doctoral degrees by many prestigious universities around the world. Your university, uh, as, uh, they can do a sandwich PhD for instance, where they can start a PhD program there, spend the middle year here, and then go back and then submit a doctoral thesis there. We can have an exchange of faculty, where some of your faculty members can come here and spend part of their time uh, learning new things and being trained in new techniques. In this institute, we have 12 superconducting nuclear magnetic resonance spectrometers. We have 10 different types of mass spectrometers. Uh, we have a whole range of different pharmacology equipment, neuroscience facilities, stem cell laboratories, and so on. To UITM, Professor Dr. Atau Rahman is a great mentor. Since 2005, he has contributed in ideas and through guidance to help UITM nurture a Malay Nobel Prize candidate. UITM is honored to award you this honorary doctorate degree in science in appreciation to your extraordinary and outstanding scientific achievement, immense contribution to the development of science and technology education in Pakistan and the Muslim world. Thank you for giving us the chance to learn from you and strengthen the kinship between our both institutions. Thank you very much. The honor is entirely mine. I feel very humbled by this honor. 
and thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you.